Hi everyone. Okay, how are y'all doing? I'm doing amazing. Today has been such a good day. I appreciate all the love and support that everybody has been uh, sending towards my plant shop locally, out of state, like all around. You guys are amazing and thank you so much. I'm just so excited to like show you all like my growth and the progress and just it's this is so cool like thank you so today I got my wishlist plant I uh, so I'm in uh, I'm in one of my like local Facebook groups and there was a begonia amphioxus uh, for sale like a little rooted juvenile cutting of it in the group and I immediately went on to that As you all know, I am a, a begonia fanatic, like, I love begonias. Um, when I started getting into begonias, I immediately went into, like, watching uh, Summer Rain Oaks, and then also uh, Rachel from Heart Shape Sleeves, like, and I'm, like, right now I just literally, like, just binge-watched all her, <laughs> all her care tips, because I'm like, I have to refresh myself on all these, like, care tips, and she's just amazing like you, you guys like she's so cool um but like this so this is a plant that i i received today ah oh, it's so exciting this is a begonia amphioxus um and i have this little temporary terrarium already and set up for it and so uh i'm, I'm gonna make a specific video for that i'll, I'll show you all that um coming up Thank you so much. Uh, I just, this is like my wish list plant, and I'm excited. Like, it's especially because it's locally, and like I've been, I've been wanting this forever. And I was gonna buy, I was gonna buy one on Google and just wait and expect it to be, you know, arrive dead. But like, I'm so excited. Like, it was either this or Britannica's next. So. Maybe I'll, I'll do a, a Botanica's unboxing next. Who knows? Thank y'all. You see right there, there's a little peacock. All right, everyone. This is my little outside garden. And my little begonias in hanging baskets, and then I also have, uh, I wanted to show you all this. My little veggies. All these veggies. Look at that. <laughs> and they'll be soon for sale and um, people could buy them. I also have a strawberry. Look at this little strawberry. You just, if you want to propagate it, you can just cut it from right there, from this little stem, and uh, place it in soil and it'll grow. I have a, a random monstera out here. And then some trees. And then some oxalis. I got squished these flowers. I really like these. These are just like so easy to propagate. Because like literally you can just put them into a... Uh, you can like literally put these into uh, some soil. You just cut them right under here and place it into some soil and they'll grow. That's all the ones I propagated. I just stuck them into soil. Didn't do any rooting hormone, nothing, just there they go. I'm telling y'all, plants are tough. They want to grow. And then I designed this. Don't judge me. 
What do y'all think, though? I wanted something really, like, loud. <laughs> So it's like begonias. The Oxalis and the Zabrina. Hi everyone. Okay, so here is my little setup for my begonia amphioxus. This is the temporary little terrarium that I have for it until I buy a, a, um, a larger terrarium and then from there I'm going to start collecting uh, more unique and um, uncommon begonias and start selling them so I'm just like really excited for like my growth and like I know you guys already like are seeing like all this growth and stuff but there's just so much more that I plan on getting this plant shop going and doing and um, I really I'm excited because I have so many big plans and so it's like a plant shop you kind of put you kind of are thinking of um, the environment and uh, your foot your carbon footprint and all these other things so it's just plans and things that I have for the future and I'm so excited to see, for y'all to see it um, I'm going to do some propagations that I've been needing to do um, I really hope y'all like the Hoya uh, propagation video. That was um, really fun, and like I still have all the Hoyas that are from propagation from my propagations. These are the Hoyas from that video. Um, they're still really they're they're doing really well. And then I also propagated my Retusa because I really like this one. I like my little like flimsy stick plant. <laughs> I love it. And then I have uh, my begonia, begonia maculata that my friend uh, gifted me. He actually gifted me this plant. And what I'm doing right now is actually like restarting the plant. So I'm cutting, I'm cutting the the stems underneath their knuckles whenever the foliage has been matured. So that way I can restart the plant and. Uh, that way there's not this legginess and get it to like where uh, it, it can be. Here's another propagation that I have for it. And then here are a whole bunch more <laughs> that I still need to do. And I'll get to it like I'm and just really excited. All the little wonderful plants. They're doing so well. Like if y'all order this pole from us, It'll, it's it's it'll do really well like I I'm enjoying it uh, I like the, the aesthetic that it brings also the amendment and the fertilizer that I've placed that in into the soil is working it still feels like it's moist and it's been over a week um, so I'll probably water it tomorrow I'll check with my moisture meter but there's a lot of new active growth in there and so that's all like really really good and working I really like these um, variegated Hoyas, but so excited. Mother's Day is coming up, and so I'm hoping to sell all these plants. All right, everyone. So. Um, now we're going to do the propagations that I've been desperately needing to do. I also want to share with y'all the Hoya propagations that I was doing in water. So as you see, they're already rooty. These are the Hoya Chelsea's. And I just, I just keep them in this water. Um, and they're doing pretty well. I'm not going to pot those up yet. Uh, I don't feel like they're ready. You, for me, like you want to pot up a a water propagation when their roots are like this i think this is a pretty good size uh, of root 
for it not to go into trend not to go into shock i'm gonna do this rapid or tetrasperma and then i also have some like peperomia that i need to pot up and this really adorable snake plant that's <laughs> ready to start growing as y'all can see so we'll be doing this um so yeah I already have uh, my soil my soil here. I'm going to amend it. So I finally got some gloves. Uh, I got I got really tired of actually like using my hands without any gloves because the soil kept getting into my fingernails, and I just I just did not like that anymore. <laughs> uh, but these are my African violets, and they're all like ready to be uh, potted up. So we'll, we'll be doing that. I also have sphagnum moss uh, propagations. They're, you might be able to see them. They're over there. But that's where all the propagations are. I'm using Willow. This is an organic product that helps you reduce your watering. So that way you don't have to water as much. It's also a USDA bi uh, certified bio-based product. So uh, y'all can see like what it is. Um, I've been really like enjoying how my plants have been growing with this and then how I water. Um, I like to enjoy my plants and I like to have a lot of plants, but I don't like to water. I'm gonna be honest with y'all, I don't like to water. It's one of my things that I just don't like to do and this has really been helping me out. Um, you can find this on the store. I also am trying to like do like mixed soils that with this amendment in it and some of the fertilizer also our soil comes with some worm castings in it um, so These plants are just gonna like love it. Like all my plants, I love just having them and not having to water them. Like that's always just such a amazing thing for me. Like you're still alive. <laughs> like I'm just so happy with that. So first we're going to uh, pot up my begonia. Like, look at these roots, y'all. Like, it has even, uh, like, little babies popping out of it. Like, that's, that's so intense. So we'll be doing that. And then from here. Like, the, that's one of my favorite begonias, and I just am so happy that it's, that I found it. Isn't he adorable? Like, that's just the most... <laughs> Love it. Next are the Peperomias. This one just kind of like... I don't know why it made itself into this weird little shape. So we'll... we'll... I think. 
I might have to just pop this one up by himself. I just basically like, I just popped him in there like straight in there like this. Like that. It might look weird, it might not look right, but I think it's because it, the the stem was too long, and so it kind and the way it was uh, in in the the water vessel, the water propagation vessel, it made itself like like that. But um, it'll be fine. I could also like um, cut the leaf in half um, once there's like new growth showing like actual like new growth popping out from the soil um, and then that way I know that the plant itself can sustain itself because like if I if I cut it cut it off right now it won't be able to like um, sustain the new growth that's coming out but once there's like new growth where the full there's foliage so that way it can live um, then I can cut it and then put the the leaf back into the same pot and then it'll produce babies from there again so it'll, it'll actually like make itself a full pot that's always my like intention when propagating i always i i just want to see a big full pot you know so like lately i've uh I just been binge watching Netflix and I finished Shadow and Bone and I'm ready for season two and also The Circle. I finished I finished the season one. I'm not, I haven't really got into season two, but I like it. I like it a lot. I like the little I like the new characters. I'm not gonna spoil it for anybody if y'all are watching it, <laughs> but I, I like that show. Um, I think it's just like, I look for shows that I, I could just like unwind to and not think. I'm always thinking and I just like, like to not think once in a while. It just, it's nice. helps you relax a little bit, you know? I'm like, I'm wearing white, I can't, I don't wanna, I don't wanna dirty myself. The Rapid of Four, Tetrasperma. So what I'm doing is I'm filling halfway with the soil, pushing down, making a hole. I'm going to place this big guy right in here. I'm going to show y'all that way if anybody has any uh, trouble knowing how to do this. Oops. So basically like I'm placing this stem in here like this gently, I'm pushing down on the bottom part where there's uh, the stem is not soft and then that way it anchors into the bottom part of the the planter and then now I can just fill this up with soil gently This was also like one of those wonky um, propagations that I that I had, and I don't like giving up on plants, so I just am going to let it grow out. Because like, y'all like really like don't give up on your plants. Um, let me show y'all. So if y'all remember, uh, Dallas had Dallas had a really bad uh, winter storm, really bad. Um, I had I luckily only like lost couple plants but 
I just want to show y'all the how like amazing plants are. This little guy has been like has has grown so much and so well. Um, and there's actually like four other uh, stems to it, and I had to propagate those because they were gonna uh, die. So they're actually like producing new new growth also like this. So I'm just saying like plants are so tough, and how pretty is that? Like it's so amazing. And then uh, so that leaf that I cut it from is from this little little guy and I'm reviving it right now so I'm gonna make a video on show y'all how to how to revive your Raphidophora tetrasperma I feel like it's so important to share your uh, to share plant knowledge because like it's so hard to like know who to trust when and also like where to go and what to ask when you're first starting off I I personally know um, I'm definitely still super new to everything, but I just kind of just grasped everything all at once and try to learn as much as I can. And I'm still like learning and accepting all that knowledge and, and from everybody that shares it with me. And I always share it back because I, I believe in like, you know, this, this is a really good community and plants have helped me so much that I just, I would love that for everybody else as well. So for snake plants, um, that's how I have it. And then I'm just gonna top it off with some uh, of the soil. So I do this little tapping thing uh, because it kind of it kind of maneuvers the soil around the container without me having to like really do much of it and mess with the plant. I know the plant probably doesn't like like that, so. So here they are. That's so adorable. And two little peperomias. Super, super cute. Uh, next, I'm going to do the African violets. I have all these containers because I don't know how many I'm going to need. Uh, so I'm just going to put them all in one container. I think that'll work. This one has like little babies and I wanted to show y'all. That's so crazy.
I got a little dirt on them, so I'm trying to get as much of it off of them as possible. Because they could uh, introduce um, bacteria to it and um, rot the plant. And since I have these gloves and they're fuzzy, it's easier to take them off. So I'll be propagating these real soon. As you see, they're pretty much getting ready to it. But yeah, that, that's all string of hearts and I'll be propagating the, well, I'll be potting these up soon um, and I'll show y'all. So stay tuned and I'll probably be doing this in like in a vlog or something. Unless y'all want me to do this separately, just let me know in the comments and um, I'll do it like that. Sometimes I just kind of like compile it all uh, because it, it seems easier that way. And then also it's just, it's just like what my day-to-day -day basis of my life is. Um, yeah. I want to show y'all this little propagation of uh, the begonia. Don't know the species, uh, but it's getting there. This is a uh, philodendron neon. So I have potted up my Peperomia, my Philodendron Neon, my Raphidophora Tetrasperma, African Violets, Watermelon Peperomia, um, Snake Plant Laurenti, Jade Pothos, and then um, Begonia Fedora. So. I love it. I'm so excited. Like, I love seeing like propagations just grow and then become these like big bushy plants. So, so I don't know about y'all, but like, the most stressful thing for me after potting them up 
is like watering them like i said watering is my downfall it's the worst thing um it, it's just so it's just so much i don't know but um i usually just put my plants in the shower and just give them a shower and let them rinse off that way that's why that that willow organic biochar is really good because that's what i do and that's what i like doing but i also i also like putting them on, on this um tray and then just bottling bottom watering them and that worked for me i like to keep it efficient and i like to enjoy my plants and i like to do what is easy for me so and what works not just what's easy what's easy and what works tomorrow i volunteered at a uh, local uh, community garden um, and to help them with their garden and pull up some like weeds and stuff like that so i'll, I'll be showing y'all some footage on that and they have events in the dallas area so if you're in, in the so if you're in the area um, i'll put their information down below so that way you can check out their websites uh, they've been around for a really long time they're a really awesome garden they're made out of their the community garden is actually um, run by uh, kids and so i think that's so so cool um and shout out to all of y'all for like doing that because y'all are like that's some dedication patience and it's just really awesome to see people younger people than than me like younger people doing all that and being so dedicated and so proud of what they do so it's great to see that um so I'll, I'll be showing you all that good morning everyone how are y'all doing today today we're going to end up in the vlog with uh, me showing you at one of my friends community gardens uh, she uh, was a school teacher uh, turned and and she and she found the love gardening and uh, started her own community garden I used to actually like wait tables on her and um, she used to come in and to this little cafe and uh, bistro place that I used to work at and just met from there and um, I've seen her growth and how dedicated she has been. Um, I'll post all the links down below so that way you all can check out the, the Promise of Peace Gardens. It's a really good place where um, younger adults and children and all sorts of ages come together um, and plant uh, veggies, herbs, and enjoy a good time together. So I'll show you all that today. We're going to actually be helping out and doing some uh, garden chores for them. I always love helping out and especially for like community gardens. It's one of my dreams to have one so it's always great to um, help out at any community garden that I can. Today I'm at Promise of Peace Gardens and I want to share with y'all our local uh, neighborhood uh, community garden. We've been uh, mulching and pulling weeds and then doing all sorts of other stuff and so I'm going to share, you, share with y'all what we've been doing. Alright, so we've been uh, laying this cardboard down and you can find all this kind of little mints and this is like all the garden. We've been, uh, we, we trimmed up the branches and the trees over there, pulled the weeds out. We're going to be mulching soon. You can get your locally grown herbs and veggies. I'll provide all the links in the description down below. So please check out the description for this uh, awesome, amazing little place. It's located in Trinity uh, Grove in Dallas, Texas. So come check it out. There's all sorts of uh, perennials and all sorts of veggies, herbs uh, you can find over here. They, um, they just uh, have this really nice fennel. Just recently planted a lot of this stuff. Um, and they, it's, it's, it's by like 10 um, young uh, interns. So, and they learn a lot about like growing vegetables and herbs and how to take care of the land which is really cool like not a lot of people know uh, how to do that and it's great because then they're learning and they're providing all this knowledge for future generations to come so let's take a tour of their little garden 
We got a Swiss chard over there. They've been working so hard. Like, how amazing is all this? You all should just like come back, come by here. They also are having um, a Mother's Day event, so I'll be sharing with y'all all that really amazing stuff. Um, I might be helping serve. <laughs> Okay. So this is some more of their veggies that they have available. They're growing and it's this is so cool, like just look at all that. How amazing is all this? It's just grown by uh ten young uh, interns. They're also growing veggie, like these little tomatoes. Super I just learned this is an onion bloom, like, it looks like a little snake, a little big old snake. <laughs> Yo, garden swag. <laughs> this looks so good, like, yo, this looks better than my garden. <laughs> They're learning how to like use these trellises that they made. Um, these kids know what they're doing. Like, look at this. Magnolia tree. But yeah, this is so cool, like how awesome is this, like you, they have this really um, big community garden that everybody comes here, they sell um, veggies and herbs and like these little like harvest boxes, so come get your harvest box. This one caught my eye, like, oh, this is so cool. We have some Lola red basil over here. They're growing some oak right here, like, that's cool. With squash.
Well, I hope you all enjoyed this little uh, community garden tour. I'll be posting some more uh, about them. I like coming here, so you'll see more of this in my vlogs to come. Bye, everyone. Y'all have a wonderful day. Thank you for uh, your time and watching my videos and subscribing to my channel. I really appreciate it. Y'all have a great one. You are all amazing. Don't you ever forget that. Peace. Bye.